look at that. We are against Poltest. Unbelievable. So, uh, Vesemir goes away. How about we kick... Vico Novis. Yeah, let's just keep this. We don't really have value generators. That's th that's the one thing that I'm really missing from this deck. But it's not really present in the elf guard. In monsters, you can get so many value generators. But in the elf guard, not so much. All right, might as well start with the Witchers. Rum. Oh my god, look at this guy. He has his cup all the time. I didn't even pay attention. Is he just a full-blown alcoholic? Do you guys know more about Foltus? I'm, I'm kind of surprised that he doesn't have like a big bottle of booze in one hand and like a cup in the other. What the hell, Foltus? And I, I'm gonna bet he's not even gonna drink it. He's just gonna hold it. What a, what a waste. So we can kill that. Oh no, I can do one better than that. I can lock that and any other copies of it. No ram also has a decent way to generate value. So I don't have any soldiers on the front row currently. Uh, RNG! But this is not a good RNG. Like, I'm just gonna go and go ahead and crucify CDPR for this RNG. This is not a skillful RNG. This has no choice in it. This has no redeeming quality. This is just RNG for no reason! This is garbage. So, there you have it. The only reason I'm using this card is because I don't have a choice. Uh, we're gonna... I think is... I don't know. Gimpy Gervin. Oh no. He drinks the pain of A. Did he drink? He'll drink if he win? Well, he's gonna uh, be thirsty. He drinks randomly in the game too. Oh my god, he's drinking. But that was weird. His drinking was like... Come on, Foltus. And, and he still has the booze. Something is not right. I know luck! We need luck! Oh, each locked unit? Move! Okay, we, we gotta kill Yennefer, I believe. Obviously, he wants to drop everything down. Well, he wants to drop this guy down to a free or maybe kill it so he can hit a lot of dudes. For one. Waltus, what's up? Oh, yeah, Mir, pay attention.
he wants to forget about the state of the realm. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> yeah. It needs to be a meme. That that's the way the devs are trying to fix No Realm. You gotta make the No Realm leaders alcoholics. That's the only way to cope with it. Okay, that's dead. Also, it just looks unnatural that you have your <clears throat> your hand on the hilt of your sword all the time. One would think that you would either just not, well, not have your hand on it, because why would you? Like... How suddenly you expect people to sneak up on you? Or do you just put your sword away in the middle of the battle all the time? Oh, look at that. He passed. Uh, let's just do the same. But he does have a lot of... Uh, charges left in his leader ability. It's gotta be a bit more fun name to call it. Yeah. Not that. Yeah, we are looking for Shoop here. Oh, we got it. Now, uh, we're gonna play one card. Trahand. Trahand. Vardifir. I should look up uh, how he says his name. But yeah, it's pretty obvious that uh, whoever gave him that name hated him. Like, big time. Yes. Oh, he likes boosting. Okay, that goes away, obviously. And he probably doesn't have any... Yes. It would be nice to get the Chiron X. What was I saying? He probably doesn't have any uh, targets for my uh, Frenzy Dao. It's not an easy choice, apparently. I do like the shadow of the army here. Uh, yeah. What now, Fultist? Oh man, it's gonna take him some time to decide. That's actually fairly powerful. I'm a little bit surprised that he played that. Is is this this? Is that his worst card? If so, we might be in trouble. Should I keep playing here? I think not. I don't know. I think he's better in the long round. Should we keep playing to try to force him into a short round where we where Shoop destroys everything? He's so fast and he's wasting Vess. Clever maneuver. Well I can kill Vess. I can just keep playing here, but I'm not sure if he, if he should. I just pass. Huh. Okay, we got nothing to do, so we might as well <coughs> check out uh, the text a vest has over here. I like this one, looks very uh, enticing to read. Oh, we got no time right now. Big decisions ahead. So we got 
One part of the duo here. We need to get Cairo next. Mm. Yeah, maybe not the Nausicaa Sergeant. Yeah, that's not great. Okay, pretty good. Shoop on 9 damage will destroy poor Foltesto. It's just all luck. We can't, we don't always get it. I hope we're gonna get it. He always runs out of time. What the hell, Foltest? Why? And he drinks after that. This, this guy is like a, literally a college kid. Whether he succeeds or doesn't succeed, that's the reason to drink. Come on, man. Whatever happens, we're just gonna drink. Or, I don't know. But he's not really drinking. Oh, I Foltest. I guess this is the Foltest life. You gotta think so hard about your options that you're gonna rope every turn. <laughs> you will see it in your dream. Really? Will he resurrect Yennefer? But the problem here is that what I suspect is gonna happen now is he's gonna resurrect Yennefer and gonna make it immune. Then he's gonna get 11, po he's gonna have 11 points on the board or possibly 12 because he's gonna buff it Foltest. And then we can possibly get Shub Day off and kill units. That would be powerful. But that might not work. What do you guess? <laughs> Strategy with NR. Ropes open and will disconnect. Yeah. The There's a good chance that he's gonna follow it up with something strong. Then, suddenly killing units. He's gonna make that? Immune? I'm not surprised. I don't think so. But apparently, yes! Not what I expected. And also, that's ridiculously annoying, because if it takes damage, it heals up, that unit is actually uh, pretty powerful. Actually, we can play Shoop now and kill them both. Oh boy. 9 damage, please. No. Will I go with the boost everything approach? Because then I can boost my entire hand. Didn't have time. We're playing Boo Shoop. Why not? Well, actually, one of the best ways to use him. Boost bounce boost is good. Yep.
Not sure what to play. Oh, he locked that. Never mind that. We're playing uh, a seer. Never mind that. We play Choop. I thought he didn't count. He got boosted twice for two. So the average, the kind of the expected value of this with a eight size hand. Twelve twice, I believe. That's definitely the most powerful use of him. To arms! Whenever it receives boost, but well, it shouldn't receive boost. I suppose it does. <clears throat> lowest ally by one. Well, it's not gonna be the lowest ally for long. I shall be as okay. <clears throat> oh yeah, he's not immune anymore. What? Oh, he has a right. I can kill it. I should have killed it. I didn't realize that it was not immune. I thought it's gonna stay immune no matter what. But it transformed, so it's no longer immune. Sometimes all you need is just to play a card with confidence, and your opponent is gonna believe that's it, it's it, that it stayed immune. Cow okay, rushing in. Gotta blow that up. It is indeed not immune. Not only, well, it's not a visual bug. It is not immune. Okay, pretty good. Hey, done! I suppose it's gonna be the Cairo next. I suppose Gunther is gonna kill the Seer. Yep. We can play this later, but it's probably not gonna matter. We mm, can boost. I don't know, let's go with that. Did you guys see the new Aquaman movie? I killed for less. Are there any good movies lately? I suppose I shouldn't say that the Aquaman movie was the best movie I've ever seen, but it was kinda okay. I, I didn't expect much, but it was it was okay. So uh, let's just go with that. So this currently can be a ten if we hit the three dam. Oh, that's good.
So finally, Gimpy has more value. Do you think Spectres can be viable? If not, what change you would implement to make them viable? You got to keep peasants on a short leash. I don't know if I can answer that properly. Uh, my last impression when I tried to make even something that you would remotely call a Spectre deck is... Oh no. That's bad. Now if he played the Rotasser, he's gonna simply target the cow. I can't play the Rotasser. I strive above all to be just. At least. Not at that time. Point for me. Yeah, that doesn't really surprise me. By playing the Rata, so we would have just simply helped him. Basically, every time, you just gotta assume that your opponent has uh, the card that is worst for you. Sometimes you don't... You kind of forget about it, or maybe you just have to... Uh, calculate with the possibility that, you know, if, if he has Regis Higher Vampire, like, for example, right now, sometimes they have that, and it just results in a crazy thing. Like, sometimes they have that, and that's the only thing that you lose to. Enough! Do but uh, about. I'm just curious if this is gonna trigger, but I think not. No. It doesn't trigger. It only triggers if they have a card left. In that case, it would have worked. But yeah, GG. Well done, Foltest. I don't know if I can even say GG to a Foltest because those poor guys. Maybe I should have let him win. Poor Nora. <laughs> now I'm just a bully. Well, well played.